All right, guys, so what I'm making is a lemon pound cake, and I'm still, as I'm blending, I haven't decided if I wanted to make a salt bar out of it, because I love a salt bar, and a salt bar with a little bit of sweetness is always nice, but um, I don't know. I really think I want to make a salt bar out of it. Not sure. Thank God I wear my glasses. So I don't even do a large, large bag. What I do is I do a um, single batch, but I always leave room for leftovers um, in case I want to do piping, in case I want to make designs, what have you. So now we're going to move you here. That works, right? So now I'm going to separate these. And because I already know that it's going to get a little messy because I'm doing a scraping technique, I put down this brown bag. Because I have, you know, sometimes I have a tendency of just picking up the, you know, dropping the tool down to the side after I've scraped off all of the excess. I already know I need enough yellow for the bottom. And if I decide to add salt, and I don't think I'm going to. Maybe add some salt to the left. Though. I know I need quite a bit of white because I'm going to be doing some piping. Possibly, I have some cupcake molds left over for the leftover soap. So let's see what kind of yellow we get with this. I was trying to go for the most natural looking um, cake. Let's put it that way so you can see. So yeah, I was looking for a nice, because again, this is lemon pound cake. So I was looking for a nice pound cake looking, you know, golden cake color. And actually the color I used is, it was Lala. Lala is actually the perfect color for it. It's golden, yellow. I, I kind of want to add a little more golden to it because then I, after I made it golden, I put a little silver into it. I mean gold to make it a little darker and now I want it a little bit lighter. Okay, just at least a little bit more yellow. But that always makes a good beige. If you ever want to make a beige, you just add some gold. You take gold and you add some white mica to your gold and you have a nice skin color beige if that's what you were looking for. I mean, sometimes you need a you need a beige in um, soap making. 
think I'm going to do a little bit more yellow because I'm going to need it regardless because I have cupcakes to do. And if anything, I'll do the cupcakes in salt, which is great. You know what I mean? Those will be great salt bars. Cupcake salt bars. I want this all to get mixed. I can see the color I just put in. It's not fully incorporated. Okay, let's uh still feel like I need my yellow. And then probably some more white. Leave that last bit again. I feel like I need more yellow here because this is going to fade down, and I just added a bunch more soap. So now let's blend this in with the fragrance. So I'm using lemon pound cake by Candle Science. fragrance in the white but I did look back at the soap that I made the first soap that I made with the lemon pound cake and I was so upset because the white did turn because there is a little bit of vanilla in there but it goes back so some of them go back some of them don't so we need this to get thick we need a nice thick consistency because again we're going to be doing a scrape through I wish there was some way I could speed up these videos because I can't go live yet so please if you like this video subscribe um, so I can go live and, you know, I guess I could edit these, but there's a whole lot involved and I'm not great with editing. So I just put them up as is. And uh, I'm, I'm just becoming a little bit more aware of how I put my videos up. I didn't realize um, when I was putting them up when I first started my business a while back that... Um, I would have been a little more selective, that's all, you know? I would have been just a little bit more selective. See, my white has like a brown tint that's gonna go away. Okay, I'm gonna blend that in real quick. extra but um these go back to yellow look look how brown it is all right it's gonna go back to yellow maybe not it may stay like this so let's put the mold in the scraper nah she's gonna fade back down because even my white went, went brown okay so this is the one i'm gonna need more for thing is with this type of technique you have to wait and then you kind of scoop it back in and so technically I do have enough to cover the entire spot that I'm trying to do um, I just have to wait for it to get a little bit harder seems like this is one of those fragrances that molds nice it doesn't you know it doesn't misbehave which is nice to know um, but yeah 
So this is gonna fade down. Let me see if I can bring you. You see how it has a beige tint and my yellow went to an orange? That will go away. It'll be more like a golden. And I wish I had the, the one in front of me to show you. And let's see what the first pull looks like. Absolutely loose as could be. Oh, by the way, when you guys get these, be careful when you wash them. Don't wash them in really hot water. They bend. So I was washing it in really, really hot water, and it did bend. Let's get those air bubbles out. Because of the blending prior to always some air bubbles in. See, the last scra scrape technique I just did was the pumpkin. Can't really see. I made it with some loose shavings on the bottom to kind of look like hay. And the fragrance was really strong. This was, I forgot to add any titanium in here, which I really didn't want to, because it was almost all natural with the exception of the pumpkin you know i i try to keep things as natural as possible not because the color comes out in the bathtub if you put too much color and um if you don't have a good recipe chances are your bathtub or the person who's buying your soaps bathtub is going to be left a little grimy so there is a good recipe out there where you're adding some citric acid to it so that way it doesn't leave any grime in the bathroom and that's kind of a key element to people buying yourself again because they like the way it feels but they don't like the clean <laughs> the cleaning process all right so this is going to take some time i wish i could do this in two videos um make it maybe i could upload it part two so that was the making as you can see the color turned brown and this will stay like a brownish tomorrow even still and then probably for like the entire four weeks of curing then everything will fade back down to its yellow it will take some time but it will fade back down and it'll still look like it'll still have a cake look uh in the beginning okay so the wait So the harder it gets, obviously the easier it is. So this scraping will be a lot easier, except I don't have any scraping, but I'm gonna be using piping afterwards, I think. I'm supposed to be using it for the cupcakes. And I was gonna do a little bit of piping on the top, maybe just a little bit to emphasize that it is, you know, a cake. And um, as we approach fall, there's all those great uh, fall fragrances, cake fragrances. Now, I'm, I'm not a big fan of washing with them, but I, I know so many of my customers are. They love the chocolate. They love the mint. They love anything cake. They also love my beautiful, uh, you know, womenly fragrances. But when fall time comes around, they're excited uh, for the fall fragrances. Um, and that's the men and the women because there's a wide range. Now we'll go this way. Okay. my little thing got loose here because it bent it bent in the um, hot water that's why I'm telling you if you when you wash them probably said it in the instructions and I didn't you know even see the instructions if there were any but yeah when you wash them make sure their water is not too hot I just went both ways just to mix it up because otherwise I'm going to wind up with like a different color. 
What? Don't worry, just leave it, please. I fixed it. Okay, so then why are you calling me? Just please leave it and shower. All right, I don't want to make too many air bubbles because this does create a lot of air bubbles doing this. So we'll just wait it out. Look at how, look at how almost pink this is. It's so funny how it actually goes right back to white.
it's so loose. Look, even this is still loose, which is gonna be great because it's gonna be easy to fill in the cracks, but it's so loose. See, it keeps coming up. It's almost there, guys. <laughs> it's almost there. I wish I didn't already already fragrance all of it because I would have made because of the color change. I would have added like a little raspberry and then made it lemon raspberry cake, you know. There's not too much in this end, and it's still turned it brown. Let's see what happens with the leftovers. This is like Yeah. Okay, we have to leave it. Because the more we touch it, the more it's not gonna set. It's almost there. As I'm looking at it. What it is is the icing on the top missing some right here. I think I could tell in this little slot.
I think the last scrape through should the next one, maybe two more at max, would be good. So guys, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Lauren. I've been making soap for about four years now. I started prior to COVID and then during COVID, it just became extremely popular. Um, and I started selling wholesale. And then once I started selling wholesale, I have to be honest, I kind of got a little upset that I wasn't getting any credit for my work. So then I created a website. Um, once I created the website, I decided, you know, um, that this was, I was actually doing really good where I didn't, you know, that was my full-time job. And uh, sadly, I have to admit that through the economic uh, plunge that we have hit, it, it also has affected, I'm sure, almost all small businesses, uh, simply because the price of our soap is not inexpensive. So with that in mind, what we try to do, some of us soapers have done it, I've noticed, is they're you know, making their bars a little bit smaller, therefore making them possibly more affordable. I don't know if they're, I haven't you know, bothered to look on their websites, but I still offer the same size bars for the same price. I still offer the same uh, free shipping with any order over $40. Um, and I always still give free samples, but that's me. Everybody does their business differently. Uh, even with the economic plunge, I know that if somebody wants to splurge and buy one of these really good nourishing soaps, you know, uh, not everybody, you know, can afford to splurge. So if you do, I appreciate that and I give you my best deals. Um, you know, I always give everybody a good deal. And uh, I always give free samples of like maybe new fragrances or something that you were like, I noticed that you were had in your cart and then you didn't buy. If I have sample sizes, I may give that to you or I may actually just give you the bar. Um, I am, you know, funny like that. I happen to be a very considerate person and I do notice things like that. So if you happen to be shopping on my website, and I say, and I see, oh, wow, you know, she was looking at that soap, but she didn't get it, but she got this one and she would have probably really loved that one. Chances are you would find it in your package for absolutely nothing. And that would be your free gift. I love to give free gifts. I do love to give free gifts uh, simply because, you know, I have stuff that is not necessarily come on stay there um my best stuff right or sometimes what i like to call them is goof bars right so i have some oh i did it the wrong way i have some goof bars right so in my goof bars did you do it the wrong way again i did okay so it's this way it's this way I'm all screwed up now. It was this way. Now I gotta make sure it's all in and start all over again. Sadly, uh, I lost track of which way I was doing my scrape. So we are starting the scrape technique again. Hopefully it won't take as long because, wow, that's a lot of extra soap in there. Oh, I'm up too many notches. That's why I'm like, what's going on here? Okay, there we go. tempted to like put it back in hot water and straighten it out again.
For the love of God, please stay on. I have never spent so much time on a scrape technique. And yeah, 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 it is my fault. I'm not gonna lie. It's because I am impatient and I started it early before my soap even got thick enough. people out there this is so annoying please just stay on i want to tape you or something have one more scrape through and now we're going to be done. I just got to remember not to move it.
else there guys just cleaning up the last bit of these sides making them a little bit more defined and deeper so it actually looks like frosting going in there so clean I want it to be so clean so I know you can't get perfection guys but it could get a little bit cleaner Thick did it get? So we're gonna have to do this in the laying technique to ensure that it goes exactly where we need it at first. Oh, this actually can go right there.
maybe not. Hold up. First, let's uh, texturize this. So, where'd my thing go? So, I want to do that texture of like. This would work. Just do. Which one was the long side? That one. I have to get the whipped cream piped out first. So let's do this. Let's fill these, whichever I have left to fill. I probably only have one or two. So I got three little cupcake holders, which is good. And we're going to pipe. I think I want to pipe. At least I'm going to pipe on the cupcakes. But there's quite a bit of this white left over. And I could use it for a bottom of a cupcake and make it a white cupcake too. Just not sure about the piping on the top of this. So I was going to do a dollop, a dollop, a dollop, a dollop. This turned so pink. I can't believe it. <laughs> All right, um, what should we do? What should we do? Or do we just do some like gold and silver sprinkles? On top. Then we do a dollop, because it's gonna get thick. I think I'm going to do a dollop, a dollop. really don't want to. Maybe should I save it? I'm so confused. I want to pipe some there on my cupcakes. Also, me, personally, I need, I'm running out of my salt bars that I prefer. I just want one of those. All right, let's. This should be kind of good enough to get some dollops out of it. I 
yeah, that's so far is actually for me. Uh, I have one fla uh, fragrance in citrus, uh, the orange citrus, but I'm a big lemon fan. So I was like, I really want to make this a lemon soap. But that was like for me. And like nobody, oh, not everybody wants a salt bar. I happen to love them because I think that they are magical on my skin. Um, you know, it's like, they're good for drying properties. And then, you know, I do the, the sugar bars that are good for polishing. So sugar is good for polishing. Salt is good for um, drying. Oatmeal is good for like healing and uh, kind of, I, I guess you can even say would heal up oat, um, poison ivy, poison oak, psoriasis. Heal is an extreme word definitely improve um you know but i have a lot of uh proven um testaments about my oatmeal oatmeal honey soap how it's actually healed so many people's skin elements uh so yeah it is a good soap i'm not gonna lie i cannot tell a lie okay this is starting to get the way it should have been <laughs> when i first started is looking like in here and it's dripping so we're gonna do it like this so we form like here where's my little clippy clip where's my little clip here it is okay so we're just gonna seal this bag for a little while kind of so it creates like no air and I'm gonna just dollop these up you make some circle uh, pies. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to the top of this, honestly. I was going to do like a dollop of, and I may still, I'm not sure, but like, yeah, I don't know. 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 Because I've never seen, um, uh, what do you call, lemon pound cake with, frosting on top you know what I mean I always see it with just like a glazing that drips so that's what I'm thinking why am I gonna just pipe this area here we'll see see how this piping goes if it even gets hard enough fast enough some soap dough because I have some ideas and I'm going to put it in here plain. No fragrance, no nothing. Uh, just going to scoop it on out, put it into this Ziploc bag. There's my big spoon. There's my big spoon. Big spoon. Okay, here it is. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to scoop it out and then I'm just going to put it in here. And then when I'm ready to make what I want, I can separate it, color it, and I plan to use it for toppings on something that I have in mind. Um, some end beds that I want to make. But yeah. That's that. 
now we're just waiting for this piping and you know some people like to call it soap frosting i have to tell you the truth it's the same recipe you're just waiting for it to get a little bit colder some people i don't know brambury you know sells a, another recipe uh they call it soap frosting but anybody can achieve soap frosting you don't you know all you have to do is just wait for a thicker consistency so let's see what we've got here i mean okay that'll work Do I dare do a dollop on each one of these or no? Like one dollop? I could do it. I think I'm going to ruin it if I do it. I'll do it right in the middle though. Okay, not so bad. I actually like the dollop in the middle. Now I want to add a little sprinkle onto it. Now, nah, brown sprinkle, gold sprinkle. See if we got any more to add to this. guys i love it let me show you i love it i love it let's take myself off the charger so i don't drag it all over so we have can i flip the camera no not while live so we have this beautiful lemon pound cake but it's gonna fade back down that's the fragrance and then we have these cutesy little cupcakes and then i made some soap dough so guys i hope you liked it and this is how you could do so much in one shot just uh, up, you know, up your recipe, increase it.